Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. This is, this is my shelf of stuff that I need to do reviews of. So, I'm not going to do Journeyman because I have somebody sending me the uh, distillery only cast strength version of the last Feather Rye. And it's a rye. And so far I've done nothing but bourbons today. This is a rye. These are ryes. These are scotch rye and bourbon. I'm gonna save those for last. So I have the Soloist Fiddler from ASW and I have Barrel King Toasty Vanilla. Stag finished. I'm going with this one. It, I, I honestly, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know who Jared bribed at MGP. I don't know who he blackmailed. I don't know who he was like holding a, a, a click click to and like, give me your best barrels. I'm Batman. Bourbon from Barrel King. And they are. They took their MGP barrel, transferred it into a Stag Batch, Stag Junior Batch 17 barrel, finished it in that, then transferred it into a Mexican vanilla barrel, and they put toasted oak spirals into that Mexican vanilla barrel. So it's toasted vanilla. Stag Jr. finished MGP. I'm not gonna compare this to anything because it's, you know what, maybe I will compare it to something. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe the frick I will compare it to a regular, not finished Barrel King, awful. And see just how much finish is really on there. So this is batch 14, <clears throat> unfinished, MGP, and it is, ooh, it's a little bit higher proof. Maybe I shouldn't have poured this one. Okay, this one's 116.8. This one's 120.8. So eh, pretty close, whatever, 2% difference. 2% difference. Now, there is a significant difference in color. I poured less of this just by mistake, and it's much darker than the the larger amount of the unfinished that I poured. So let's start with the unfinished to get a base line for, oh, stupid. That's just stupid good. <laughs> That's just, Here's a, here's a real, a real significant problem that I have. I don't understand why or how Barrel King is getting such good barrels out of MGP compared to other people. It, I, I honestly, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know who Jared bribed at MGP. I don't know who he blackmailed. I don't know who he was like holding a, a, a click click to and like, give me your best barrels. I'm Batman. And, and they're like, yes, sir, here's our best stuff. I honestly don't understand because I've had a lot of MGP single barrels and these are premium. These are peak MGP. Just absolutely wonderful. So, now, when you take something that's already absolutely wonderful and put it out as a single barrel product, unfinished, just, hey, here it is, here it is the way it came. It sat in Missouri for a small amount of time in our warehouse, so it, it aged a little more than, than it did, you know, in Indiana. And here it is. Taste it, you love it, coo, whatever. Now, 
you throw a crazy finish on it. Stag Jr. finish, and then Mexican vanilla barrels, and toasted oak spires. And they're going to be the big, chonky spires, not the little baby ones you can get off Amazon. They're going to be the big, chonky ones that, like, Oak and Eden puts in their barrels that they don't tell anybody about. Oh. The vanilla comes through, and I also get a cocoa note, like the dried pow powdered cocoa that you might make chocolate milk with or put in a in a recipe for like brownies or whatever. I get that dry powdered cocoa on this. All right, let's taste. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's spicier. And when I, ooh, damn. Vanilla, ooh, oh man. It's not like vanilla extract. You know how vanilla extract is kind of like thin and chemical-ish? The vanilla on here is a big round vanilla note that doesn't come across chemically, it comes across syrupy and solid and like almost thick oh that's for drinking whiskey holy shit you could you could if you didn't control yourself i could drink a whole bottle of that in a couple days i could just murder the, oh, i could murder that i could just Wow, that's silly. That's just silly. I'm gonna be chopping this bottle up and sharing this one with my patrons. So if you're not in my Patreon, you probably should freaking do it. I mean, if you want access to my advent calendar, samples, jump in Patreon, just stop. Just stop what you're doing and jump in there. Anyway, <clears throat> these are wonderful. Both wonderful, both amazing. This has a hint of a sharp rye note that's just there that this doesn't have. This is all rounded off. Oh. That's just raunchy good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm going to keep shilling for Barrel King because so far everything I've had from them has been fantastic. And... Unlike some other non-distilling producers, it doesn't taste fake. There's n My hackles don't go up on the back of my neck when I taste it, uh, like has happened with other stuff that was supposedly finished in vanilla, supposedly finished in chocolate, cocoa, whatever, cacao, whatever they called it, supposedly finished in tajaki and all these other things. They felt wrong. They felt fake. And this doesn't. This feels real. So, hey, you know, who knows? I could be wrong. But until those hackles go up and until I see evidence that makes me go, mm, I'm a Barrel King shill and I don't care. So, hey, random guy on Instagram.